everyone. This is Adil Hassan from Kasela, and today I am back again with the fourth video of Noise Safe series. And in this video, we're going to be specifically talking about viewing data on Noise Safe and how to analyze data in order to get the best and most out of your Noise Safe program. So, first things first, let's connect my DBatch to. All right, so it has got few runs. I'm not going to download these ones because we have already done that. So I'm going to go straight to the downloaded results section. And here you can see that it has got results from two different instruments. I can tell that by looking at the serial number. Uh, before we begin, I would like to tell you that you can change the order of these columns, which you see over here at the top. So just go in the settings, click view downloaded results and just move up and down in whatever order you would like to see your downloaded results click ok all right so let's start with viewing and analyzing data let's select this run which i did this morning uh, double click open it and you can see a profile chart over here so we have got summary profile table profile chart so let me begin with profile chart because this is where most of the options lie so just right click anywhere here on uh, edit limit line uh, you can edit this limit line which you see here this threshold level so currently it is set at 90 decibel i can move it to 100 decibels i can change the color of this limit line by clicking this one i'm not going to do that now so you can see the limit line has moved up and right click again y axis option you can see i have selected the custom scale uh, but uh, you can you can edit the custom scale you can have the value maximum up to 145 decibels click ok uh, you can also go with the default scale which is here when you select the default scale you can see that there's this green patch over here this red patch over here and this green patch over here again so this shows the time uh, when the dbatch 2 was moving on the go when someone was basically wearing it and the red one is for stationary that means no motion index right click again y axis options we have talked about note option so you can click anywhere here and add a note on that particular instance so i can click here here let me add a note here note options add note so this is the time when i think my employee chris took a lunch break this lunch break this is all imaginary all fictional just to just to show you how it is done so you can add any note anywhere in order for you to remember later what that particular e event was about so equally you can delete the note delete the note so yes let me delete the note okay so moving up the order we have got pause options you can't see any pause options here because it is one straight runs but if you go to downloaded results and look for the pause options here so <clears throat> you can see that we've got some pause duration here let me open this result so you can see the pause option here you can click here pause option you can hide all pauses it has disappeared now uh, going back to my previous run of this morning double click this one so yes you can add and delete add and hide the pause options um, this is the option available on your dbatch 2 you select the you can basically pause any run for any amount of time if you feel that that data is not necessary for you in similarly you have got this exclusion zone option over here if i add an exclusion zone here all right so i have added an exclusion zone here let me add another exclusion zone here so i've added two exclusion zones here so what they do is basically if for example let me give you an example this morning at around something past 11 a.m our fire alarm was tested it was a routine test and i would not like that data to appear in my report and i would like to exclude it from my run so i'm gonna do it now so i can 
add an exclusion zone. So I'm adding a third exclusion zone here. It has overlapped with the second and third one, but you can basically zoom in and zoom out by scrolling up and scrolling down. Again, click on the options, audio event options. So we have got audio event options here. You can also see them here. Audio event options, uh, we talked about them. This is the time period which exceeded my trigger value and then the DBS2 started recording of that event. And you can revisit that particular section again by here, click audio, trigger level and event recording, you can enable it. So anytime the sound value will increase 90 decibels for a slow LA LAS, and for 30 seconds, and if it, that will persist for 30 seconds, it will, DBS2 will start recording an audio event so that you know later what was happening at that time. Uh, coming back to my results again. So if we click here, this result has got four audio events. This is the time. The, these are the instances where the sound threshold level exceeded the set 90 decibels or 60 decibels limit, which I set and showed you previously. Uh, let's move up the order. You can see symmetrical zoom here. If you click this symmetrical zoom, let me click this one. It will move this right hand bar and this bottom most bar at the same time to give you a much better view of the data. Let's move the order up again, show point values. Pretty simple, wherever you will click on these sharp edges, it will show and bring up instantly the values which you have selected here, which are most important for you in the summary. So you can see them here by clicking this option. And you can save this image as a PNG file on your local desktop or anywhere you would like. Save Chris data. I'm saving it here on my desktop as a PNG, as a picture file. You can copy it to clipboard so you can basically paste it anywhere. So these, these are the range of options which are available here. If you click audio, you can play the audio which was recorded uh, before, the, before I started my measurement this morning. Uh, just to let you know that event recording and audio recording are the options which are only available on Pro and Plus models of DVS2. These are not available on the basic or standard DVS2 model. So yeah, that was all for me uh, at this time. But And this was my last video of NoiseSafe series. But if you feel that I have not covered anything, uh, then please feel free to drop us an email or contact our help desk. And I'll be more than happy to make another video to cover any other aspect of the software which I have not covered this time. So until you hear from me again, uh, take care and see you soon. With international offices in the US, India, China, and Australia, as well as a network of global distributors, Casella can provide the support you need wherever you are. Visit www.casellasolutions.com or email info at casellasolutions.com for more information.